Good evening, Dave. How's it going? Good fun. So, um, start off. Uh, did you watch the All Blacks versus the Wallabies? Yeah, man. It was uh, it was good. What did you think of the Men in Black? Oh, they're just unbelievable, bro. Yeah. Just too good, you know. Been too good for a while, so. I went out today to Victoria Park to go and see them. Yep. They were having a homecoming ceremony. Yeah. It was packed. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't even see them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. One of the some of the boys went. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was hyped to train some people, but now it was good. Um, do you have a favorite All Black at all, or? Um, we're Richie McCall, man. Yeah. He's just the epitome of hard work. You know what I mean? He's unbelievable. So uh, you've had a busy couple of weeks. I think mm -hmm. I saw pictures of you and Joseph uh, in Samoa. Yep. Um, so what's that about? What's happening in Samoa? So we're going over there, man. We're going over the fight in the Rumble in Paradise. Yeah. Uh, January 23rd over in Sa. So it just was. We went over there to announce it and uh, got to meet the Prime Minister. Turns out he's a butterbeaner. So uh, that was pretty cool. He said, "Don't change. I like your style, butterbean." <laughs> And he referred to my style as he's gonna I'm gonna come over and put a comedy on. So, <laughs> so that was cool to meet the Prime Minister and turn out he was a fan. That's awesome. Mm. I mean that's the highest regards, right? I mean, yeah, meeting, man, I was, yeah. pumped. I was pumped. So I know you I know you got Samoa tattooed across your mm. abdominals. I mean what is yeah. it what does it mean to you fighting in Samoa? Oh, it's, it's just um you know it means heaps. It's where I'll, my um my ancestors are from, you know. My father has a title there that came from my grandfather. Um, I lived there when I was younger. It's just cool to, to, good for the country, especially with Joe, you know, to go back there. So, such a big draw card. It's going to do wonders for the um, Samoan economy. It's just going to be good. Did people recognize you instantly? I mean, yeah, the was, Prime Minister was, knows you then, I bet. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty funny. I've, I've got, actually got a following over there, and I, I wasn't sure, you know. But Duco, um, every time Duco was going over to organize everything, you know, everyone was asking, why oh, you bring in Butterbean as well? Is Butterbean coming? So they, you know, decided to take me with Joe, you know, to Samoa for that trip. So I definitely got a good reception, and uh, which was awesome. I saw the people singing for you. Yeah. You, know, you were holding the selfie stick, and yeah, yeah, they just seemed to cool. embrace you with open yeah. arms, huh? Yeah, yeah that was, um, it was really cool. Really good feeling. That was a huge honor when the, the guys were singing the Tama Samoa song for me. Uh, I was pumped. I like how you share that stuff, you know? It's just... Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are um, a lot more calculated with what they post, you know, and certain times and, and pay for boosts and all this. So I just post anything. Love it. Love it. Through my day, I'm not worried about likes. I just put it up and so can, people can see what's going on, you know. Yeah. It's reality, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah that's reality cool. TV. <laughs> now, uh, turning your, your attention to Fight Week, so you conquered Mount Kalini. Post fight, you mentioned that you were incredibly relieved. However, there's not a lot of time for you to kick back and take in your victory. Um, you'll be fighting November 6th in the ABA against Gavin. Yep. Um, quick tur turnover once again. Uh, what can you tell us about Gavin? Uh, yeah, I'm back to normal now. So, you know, it's back to fighting all the time after Mount conquering Mount Kalini. He's you know, a great bloke. So, I was really happy to get that win. And now, this guy, Gavin, is. Uh, and he is. Um, I've been an online nemesis. This guy has been um, chewing at my heels for ages, you know, uh, like a little bloody poodle, you know, uh, ankle biter. And he's just been talking rubbish for ages. And um, so, you know, we said to, I said to Andrew, let's give him his, his, his chance. I was meant to fight him on VS Live um, after I fought Kalini, but obviously I couldn't fight. So now I finally get my chance to fight him. He's had, I think he's had a few fights. Uh, he's got no idea what he's in for. Um, I'm in the best shape, you know, con continually getting better boxing wise. This is a three minute round fight, too. So it's four threes, first three minute round fight. Uh, first three minute rounds I've had. So I can take my time. That suits me more. I can take my time and, and actually try and box him. And once he's tired, then rip him apart. Three, three minute, four, four rounds? Three minute rounds, yeah. Okay. So normally okay. our fights is four twos. This is four threes. And this guy, Gavin, he doesn't seem to hold back. I know this fight was supposed to happen uh, earlier, but he's been calling you all sort of names. Yeah, well, the funny thing yeah. is, he's calling me butter chicken, and, and, uh, and, but he's blocked me, so who's the chicken? What? You know what I mean? Really? Why is he blocking me? I can't see his stuff, but one of the guys showed me today at training, was showing me all the stuff, and geez, he's really going hard, this guy, Gavin. He's really going hard with just a lot of the, I mean, even like 
I, I know I talk a lot of shit, but this guy's been, he's taken it to another level, you know. Have you guys met face to face yet? Or I have met him. Oh, okay. Yeah. I had them I had to shoot the sky video two days before I fought Kalini and I didn't want to do that because you know I told you I only wanted to focus on Kalini, nothing else. That that was one of the biggest things I learned. Not, yeah. Not the last when Kalini beat me, I was looking at two or three opponents in front of him. So I don't do that anymore. So but anyway I had to meet him. He was a bit quiet. Not, he's actually not a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. He's not a bad guy, but I'm not sure if he's all there. <laughs> so how do you how do you see this this fight going? Um, um, it's going to go the distance, you reckon? Go, I'm going to try and finish him off in the fourth round. I want to I want to try and box him for a while um, and try and time it to finish him in the, the last minute of the last round. You know that that fourth round uh, mm. against Kalin. You know that was poetry in motion, right? That was just a beautiful, beautiful round. <laughs> yeah, Honestly. Well, it definitely got the crowd excited. It was that, beautiful. And, um, you know, I, I, I showed a little bit of boxing skill to begin with it, you know, because I, I knew he could punch. And I knew after fighting, after um, the first uh, minute of the round that he's a counter puncher. So, you know, I just try to use my brain a bit. And, and he is the hardest puncher I've ever felt. So, um, you know, just instead of trying to be cocky when he hits, put my guard up. And box him a bit, you know, and then when I could, I knew, I knew I'd have fitness. I'd have fitness over most people. It's one of my benefits, you know, just yeah. the way I train. Um, so it was a uh, real good. But I timed it wrong. Right. <laughs> I said to my corner, yell out to me when there's a uh, a minute left in the round, and I just went hard from the from the get go, and then um, had to tape, taper off a little bit. But it was it was a full on round day. Eh? It was amazing. Mm. It was both of you exchanging. For it. I think you almost had him off his feet, eh? Like he almost looked like yeah, he was think, he was uh, out. I think another maybe thirty seconds Done. or so it would have been. And it was just from pure exhaustion because we, we were both giving it some. Yeah. Uh, we were, and it was a really awesome photo at the end when as soon as the bell rang we we're just leaning over the right. Yeah. We gave it our all, you know. It was a beautiful moment. Yeah. yeah. And that was that was cool. That was a So uh, now after uh, so who else is fighting on the undercard? Um, well, it's actually um, we got it seems stacked, eh? Like stacked uh, card. yeah, yeah. It's gonna be um, and they're gonna be you know well matched fights. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be an awesome undercard. Um, Ty, is it Jordan Ty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the um, semi main event, and he's a really awesome. Some fighter. pro fights as well, eh? Yeah, yeah. That's it's, it's gonna, gonna be. be yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. It's a real cool card. Um. I know you don't want to focus, you know, uh, you're focusing on Gavin at the moment, but just, just to talk about the rematch with Tongan Bear, um, you know, he's had a whole year to prepare for you now, so uh, do you think he's going to be more dangerous than last nah. time? No, nah, he doesn't know. Like, oh, I can say it with absolute confidence. He has no idea what he's going to hit. I'm going to give him a freaking good hiding. Um, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I've, I've fought, what, seven more times since I fought him? He hasn't fought at all. Inactivity, yeah. And he's talking about, uh, today I saw the Duco video where he talked about I got a torn tricep. And I, um, I said, hello. I'll show you. So my tricep is still torn. That lump there is my tricep. My elbow can't fully bend. And my tricep starts there. Sorry, my bicep starts here. So, so my tri my um, my biceps are around here. Yeah, so yeah. You see that's torn. See that that one starts there. That one starts there. Oh, so he, he just got it wrong. He's, yeah. He's yeah. full of excuses. No, he's talking about he lo he tore he had was fighting me last time with a broken arm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. That's what yeah. in the Stuka video. Eh? So he's talking about. Got it. Got it. So the excuses. That's huh? an excuse. I got I've got two broken arms: a torn tricep and a torn bicep. And uh, and, and, and the shit. surgeries on your knees. And, yeah. And, um, and nine nine knee operations. You know. So I don't make excuses. I didn't make excuses when I lost to to um to Kalini. You know he was a better fighter. I didn't make excuses. So now he's making excuses, and it pissed me off when I saw that today. Um, talking about oh he broke his arm. He fought me last time with a broken arm. So so what? But this time I'm gonna get mine fixed, and that's another thing. He missed games. I just I tore my bicep in a league game. I just played the rest of the season. I never got it fixed. That's yeah. that warrior mentality, right? Yeah, like, you know, so this is too much excuses. That's why you're going to get knocked out. You seem totally energized there. Eh? It's, uh... Yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah. I'm feeling good. Um, in a good space. I was just like, you know, relieved that I got that win. And uh, I'm going to show people 
uh, what I can do in the you know the, the, on the boxing side this Friday, and then go down and smash Tom and Bear. Give them a good because I copped a lot. I remember you remember that was the first time I started talking to you, wasn't it? Down at Tom and Bear. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. I, I copped a lot of crap from that fight. I actually was really down. Um, I got more down after that fight, even though I won, than when I when I got lost to Kalini. Uh, was just lucky that you know a few good people like Lolo and um, you know who messaged me to you know to not worry about what these people are saying online. Do you remember? I remember it. I remember. I remember post fight coming to talk yeah. to you. One of our best interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said a uh, quite a controversial fight. Controversial? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> that was beautiful. And you know, to be honest, I sort of thought it was controversial as well. But once you explain it to me, yeah, he was just throwing bombs. He yeah. wasn't really boxing. He was yeah. just throwing, you know. Yeah. Uh, he so done, yeah. He done really well. Yeah. Um, to feed, yeah, but it was just all haymakers. He threw nothing. Exactly. And um, yeah, I'm a lot better than I was then. Oh man. I'm a lot better, you know. And uh, he's not going to be that much better, you know. Um, but so. but it has to be done, right? I'm sure the people want to see it. Eh? The people want to yeah. see it, cause, and I've got to finish him. I have to. Okay. And I and I think it's going to be six six two this fight. So oh really? He's in trouble, man. He wow. He's in trouble. Um, yeah, six twos. Uh, he's in trouble. It's, I've got six rounds to just grind him down till he can't even keep his hands up by his chest, let alone his chin. You know, and uh, I get better as the fight goes on. I'm a slow starter. Um, he's got no chance, and I'll keep my hands up, you know, like that's another thing I learned. Don't block with your chin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to give him a, a bloody good hiding. He's got no idea. I hope you're watching this, Tom and Bear. I'm going to slay you. <laughs> any any, uh, any last words for your fans out there? Um, just to all the Butterbeaners, keep going hard. Uh, keep living your dreams and reaching for the stars, you know. Um, I've proven that anything is possible. I was down and out in the dumps. Um, so many times in my life, but uh, with with hard work, keeping good people around you, and no excuses, anything's possible. The Butterbean persona is what it is, and it gives me that uh, following to, to go out and, and inspire people like yourself. Thanks, Butterbean. No Appreciate it. Cheers, Always a good interview. Cheers, bro.